What? Oh, oh, focus, focus for me, please. Focus, focus. Please. All right, what's going on, beautiful people? We're back with another video, as you can tell. Um, today's video is gonna be a story time video about when, I swear I planned this ahead of time. Okay. So today's video is gonna be about the time where my basketball team made it to the championship and won, but it was a very rocky road. Very rocky. Okay, so my mother was a little skeptical for me to join this random basketball team nearby. And literally one day, this dude, he just came up to me. He was like, yo man, try and join this basketball team. And I was young and I was like, I was like, yo, I, I do like playing some ball, you feel me? So just... <laughs> Zhao tries to intercept it and Bernier's got a wide open glass, puts the layup up and can't make it fall. Zhao. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, sure, let me join the team. But you should know something about the hood. Nothing is like, <laughs> this ain't no all-star team with the the jerseys all looking nice and all that it was like we got some t-shirts some of them was like bleached like just it was not a coordinated team basically at the time but it, it didn't matter to me all i cared about was the camaraderie that i was ready to have with these players and i realized the age group range like it was a significant range like some dudes was 18 and so we would play pickup basketball. I don't feel like we actually had an organized team because we never traveled. It was always at our home court and the dudes that we played always went skins. So that was interesting, but I didn't, I didn't question that. We would do suicides. Our, our um, coach, he was mad. He was very hardcore for no reason. We had to do like a hundred suicides and if someone like took a breather, he would make us do another hundred. And my, my ass wasn't ready for all that, being 13 and all. I was just, I felt bad for my whole team because I was always taking on breaks. I was like, yo, I can't go no longer. Oh, it was rough. Anyways, fast forward. We're being told that we're gonna travel, I think it was to Virginia? West Virginia, some, something like that. It was not close, South Carolina, it was not close. So, I'm in one van with my homies. There were some hooligans, as you can expect, and they would make, <laughs> some dudes was over here smoking weed. I, I Again, I'm young, I'm like, okay, I don't know what the, what's going on over there, but they having some fun, so that's cool, I guess. Um, when we got to the place, we got to a motel, right? And I did not know where we, I didn't know where we were. All I knew was that my coach was like, we have two rules, okay? And that is for everyone to be nice to each other, be good, and make sure the police does not get contacted tonight. Because the, the, uh, the coaches and I, we're all going to celebrate because we made it this far. Even though, let me remind you, we never like went nowhere to, play no game except for our home court but some reason we ended up in I think Virginia and he was like so just make sure everyone's nice to each other and the police don't get called I'm all thinking oh that's easy come on now like you literally just alley you you feel me alley you this is easy so I'm in my own little room I got I have like I don't know, two, three other roommates or so. And we like, we basically rented like that whole top floor of the motel. So I was chilling. I was watching my, my movies on the TV, being a little good boy, whatever. And all I know is that one of my friends, I, I'm not gonna use names, um, call him Devin, all right? So homeboy Devin was like, yo, do you know what that story is? Cause there was like, it was kind of like, not a deserted area, but like, it was the motel, and then there was a store right across from it, but like, walking distance, probably less than a minute away, basically. And he was like, you know what that store is? I was like, nope. 
But I'm gonna watch these movies though, so that's what I know about. And my other roommates were like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, what is it? He's like, it's a sex shop. Again, I'm young. I don't know too much about this. I don't need to know too much about this. I'm young. But they were all, you know, they got that testosterone flowing. So they was like, you say a sex shop? And my friend, um, Devin, he was like, yeah, let's go check it out. You know, play some jokes. They go to the sex shop, right? I, again, I'm being my little good boy self. And the older guys, like 17, 18, come to my room because they, they're basically in charge. So they were like, yo, Sean, where's the rest of the crew? Like, why is it just you in this room? Because we doing some checks, we checking the room. I didn't want to be no snitch, but like, these dudes, they would beat me up. <laughs> so I was like, you see, I don't really know. But what I do know is that some people left. Where? I don't know. And next thing you know, these bum boys <laughs> when I come running into the dorm, I mean into the room, and was like, yo, 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 they're calling the cops, they're calling the cops. I don't, I don't go, <laughs> yo, what do you mean they're calling the cops? And then apparently, uh, Devin yelled in the sex store. Well, first, there was like this dude and two other girls, and he goes, oh, I know you guys are gonna have a fun night. And then he also goes, he yells in there, do yourself tell those. Um, so when he's saying this, the older dudes, they're looking at me, thinking that I was in on this, trying to, you know, cover up for them. And then they're looking at the rest of the guys that went there and was like, oh, yo is grass. I'm just thinking, are we really better have the police called on us when literally it's been less than an hour of our coaches leaving us? Next, you know, you hear the, the motel dude, owner, whatever he is, he's like, you guys need to go because I'm calling the cops because I'm hearing a, a lot of complaints, a lot of ruckus is happening. Um, the sex store across the street um, informed me that you guys are fooling around in there. So now we're about to get kicked out of the motel. You gotta have the police called on us because of the uh, sex shop. And these dudes are about to kill all of us because we just fucked up in a matter of seconds. Well, I, in fact, exclude me out of that. I was watching my movies. I'm a good boy. I'm over here in the corner, like, trying to hide because they got me, the older dudes, they got me talking about why you let them do this, why you let them do that. You supposed to be mature. My dude, I'm 13. I just want to watch some movies. That's all I was trying to do. And then my coach comes with the rest of the coaches and he, he starts yelling at everybody. And he's like, oh, I'm going to bring hell on y'all tomorrow morning so they the motel dude let us stay um i guess the sex shop they forgave us in the morning it was like i don't know 4 a.m in the back of the motel the parking lot right so he had us line up on starting one line and do suicide so it's a parking lot yo i i remember running <laughs> my ass was running and i had tears coming down <laughs> The reason why the coaches left is because we did end up winning the championship, which I don't know how, because <laughs> apparently we weren't even in that league. They were like, yo, why y'all showing up to our court if y'all like, y'all are not in our tournament. But I, we showed up, we beat them, got the dub, all good, got the trophy at the end of the day, bring that back to Beantown. So that's why the coaches left. They we're all in the vans. Remember how I told you that there's two vans? So I'm in one of the vans. We left for the trip with the coaches. I think there was like four of them. And then these uh, amazing women that have been supporting us for the entire journey of the basketball team and everything like that. So I was in the car with the two women that were driving. And there, w there was a guy who, um, I think it was Devin, because he was acting such a fool that they were like, okay, you gotta move to the other van because you've already been doing too much this entire trip. And then I was like, yo, I wanna go with Devin. Let me go with this um in this other van. So I was gonna go in the other van, but then I got lazy. <laughs> I was like, I just wanna go home actually. Let me just stay in this van right here because I'm too lazy for all this. 
So Devin and some other kids go into the other van. And so like it was a little switcheroo. And I was just like, my bag is already in this van right here. So I'm just gonna stay in this van. Going a little bit faster than the other van. We're practically almost in Massachusetts, right? We got like, I don't know, 30 minutes left to reach the uh, Massachusetts. These triplets that were on my team. And I was in the car, what I think two of them, I was in the van with two of them. And the other triplet was in the other van, right? So all I know is that we get this call is basically saying we got in a serious car accident. Some old dude um, pushed us against the rail on the on the highway, I think. And the van practically almost wiped out. They're in the hospital, like with some mildly serious conditions. Um, uh, I gotta come up with some names. Trevor's arm is broken. Um, Jack got a, um, a concussion. Um, just like all these different types of things happening. The coach landed on the um, the trophy. And my coach, he, he was a big dude. And that, tro that trophy was like yay high. That trophy was yay high. And it was saying that he landed on the trophy. My man, my homeboy, let me think of a name real quick. My homeboy Jackson, he he was the one that would always like smoke weed and all that. So homeboy Jackson, he was sm I want to say thankfully he was smoking weed, and he broke the window with his skull. That window was because these were like some diesel um, vans. That window was probably, it was probably like this thick. The window was this thick. This boy's head broke the window with this thick um, size glass. Just straight. <clears throat> and then he was like, <laughs> apparently too, this is what they said that. He was like, yo, did someone just tap me? <laughs> yo, when I heard that, I was like, yo, <laughs> weed is one strong drug. <laughs> but like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I was like, I was so tired. I was ready to go home because all this mess. Because they said that we had to turn back to go to the hospital to support the rest of our teammates. But I was like, yo, can y'all just bring me home? I'm tired of these kids. I mean, that's unfortunate, but I'm trying to get home. So, but we ended up going to the hospital, of course. I came to my senses. Oh, snap. <laughs> my homies, they hurt. Yeah. So... That's what happened. Sex shop winning the championship. Um, a crazy van accident. I hope you guys like that story time video. If you want me to have more story times, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, follow me on my social media. Thanks for watching.